<laughs> yes! Woohoo! What's up guys, I'm Dan H and welcome to the project. This is the first time I'm actually, this is the first time I'm legally driving the Green Hornet WJ. I can't wait to test drive this thing. It's been a very long winter. We tinkered on this thing for months, fixed a whole bunch of stuff, but now I finally got the plates. I can finally test drive this thing and really see what it's made of. I'm so excited. Um, I have been taking this thing around the block every now and then, keep the juices flowing, keep the battery powered up, but I haven't actually got to drive it because this thing had no title. I couldn't get it registered. I did have it insured. God forbid a tree or a plane crashed into it. I don't know, I'd get some money back, I guess, but this is actually the uh, first day the registration came in the mail, opened it up, got the plates, popped them on, and, and now we're actually driving. So um, I did get this thing without a title and I used a title servicing company and uh, the title servicing company actually, it cost me twice as much to get the title and a registration than it did uh, to, uh, to buy this vehicle. I think I got this thing 300 bucks from a neighbor and then the titling uh, cost about 600 bucks and holy crap, it was like a six month wait. Um, that was insane. Um, partially because the process went through the Vermont DMV. Um, that's where it's titled to me. I'm in New York, but I got Vermont plates, go figure. Um, and uh, yeah, so we got, we got it from Vermont, which it took a while there, and the whole you know what thing is still going on. So that, uh, that slowed the process quite significantly. It might have gotten lost in the mail, who knows? But we got it now, that's all that matters. We are on the road. So you know what? I'm gonna stop yapping and I'm gonna drive this thing. I'm gonna get this thing on the highway. I'm gonna take it to speed. I'm gonna let it burn off all that crud that was sitting in the engine, building up sludge for years. And uh, I'll report back to you in a little bit. Let's see how this baby does. Come on, people, out of my way. I must drive. guys as we merge onto the highway so far so good everything was good on the back roads um, but we're going on the highway and I want to talk about check engine lights now when I first got this thing it had a whole bunch of check engine lights it had everything from evap codes it had the hydraulic fan solenoid code torque converter clutch solenoid check engine light it's got a whole bunch of codes and uh, practically the most codes I've ever seen at one time on a Jeep so I've sorted out a bunch of things in the uh, the old driveway after I repaired a bunch of stuff. Um, what was that pain in the butt one? Uh, it was the O2 sensor check engine light. There's an O2 sensor fuse. Had no idea. WJ problems, I guess. But anyway, everything is cleared. I got no check engine lights at the moment. And uh, we'll see how long this lasts. Again, this is the first time I'm actually driving this thing. We're on the highway now, doing about 60. And... Um, I'm feeling something right now, and uh, I'll drive this thing a little more, I'll let you know. Uh, this could be a disaster. I better slow down.
All right, guys. Bad news right off the bat. Oh, this ain't good, man. Um, so what I'm feeling on the highway is when I give it the gas, I I feel the whole vehicle shift towards the center lane, like it's got a, like it's got rear steer. I mean, I'm holding the wheel straight on. I give it some gas. The car shifts to the center lane, and as soon as I get off the gas, <laughs> it shifts back passenger side. So. Uh, I think that's probably the rear lower control arms. I bet the bushings in there are all rotted to crap. So um, that's given me a really f violent tug. Holy crap. It's not even funny. Gas, shift, brake, shift. So uh, it, it feels like I'm, I'm having like a tug of war right now with the Jeep. Like the rear end feels like it's gonna slide out. So um, I'm not taking this thing on the highway. I shot myself down uh, almost instantly. I didn't make it one exit on the highway. Um, I'm gonna have to address that. I'm gonna see if I can find some rear lower control arms. I don't know, maybe I'll get a set. Um, well, this kind of sucks, guys. Um, yeah, um, <laughs> I hate to say it, but uh, I did feel a slight oscillation when I hit a bump on that steering wheel, and you guys know what that means. So. Um, it didn't happen. I'm not gonna say it. I don't want to jinx it, but the old initials uh, DW come to mind, and I ain't talking about Darkwing Duck. Darkwing Duck. When there's trouble, you call me yeah, it's kind of a huge bummer. So uh, I guess that will conclude the test drive. I'm I'm gonna head home, and uh, it does not feel safe to drive. I, I don't I don't trust it with a big shimmy like that. Who knows, you get caught in the rain, especially with these ball tires. Jeez, give me a break. This thing's gonna be all over the road. So, um, all right, yeah, gonna head back home and I'm gonna look online for some lower control arms and um, report back to you in a little bit. Uh, here we go, guys. Just wanna give you a perspective from the driver's side on this real quick. Uh, obviously, you can see the steering wheel it's turned to the side now I know what you're saying I put the two inch lift on it and it probably put the drag link out of place but no it was out of whack before I even touched this vehicle so uh, we'll have to adjust the drag link no big deal my tires are shot anyway I need tires so I'll probably get tires and an alignment and uh, heck I'll have them check out the tie rod ends while I'm there screw it if they're gonna do come on man I'm filming if they're gonna do work to the car might as well do it all in one shot so um you know what i'll get back onto the highway and i'll show you the pull when i get on all right guys here we go check this out gas <laughs> shifts <laughs> look how much it pulled me oh my goodness and let go and all that didn't really pull me back. Well, let me do it more dramatically. And snap back. Yep. I am all over the road right now. And I'm not signaling. I'm in violation of the law. <laughs> oh, man. Failure to signal is the least of my worries right now. This kind of sucks. It's not bad when I keep the gas pedal consistent and a nice uh, even press. But if I gas and release, gas and release, <laughs> the car starts to shimmy. Oh boy. All right, that's a wrap for this one. Boo. All right, guys, I have great news. Now, I was very disappointed in this WJ's maiden voyage. It was uh, it was dangerous, to say the least, having this rear end shift all over on me. Not a fan of that. Didn't like it, and I was discouraged with this whole entire project. I was just sick of it. I even thought about selling it right away and never posting a WJ video ever again. But 
I was looking through my emails. I saw a message from Max Speeding Rods, and they wanted to enter in a cooperation with me. They, they're they going to send me uh, free Jeep parts, and I would do a video for them. And uh, that, that's how that thing works. So I said, hey, what the heck? So I flipped through their products. Sure enough, they have adjustable rear lower control arms for a WJ. They also have factory WJ front control arms, upper and lower, and um, I asked them if they would like to send me those, and they said yes. So thank you, Erin from MXR. Max Speeding Rods came through. Now, I should be getting the rear control arms very shortly, and uh, the front ones might be back-ordered. I'm not sure. They said they're going to get them out as soon as possible. So I'm getting free adjustable control arms in the rear of this thing, and I'm getting free OEM control arms in the front. So that is huge news. I'm completely excited that you got it. I didn't waste all my time and money on this WJ. So more videos to come on this WJ. So uh, yeah, we're going to close this video out. Thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next project when uh, maybe we'll do lower control arms on this thing. So all right, guys. Good night. Peace.